she hasn't paid me. This customer is trying to avoid paying the bill for a job that's already been completed. Uh, about a $750 service. As a team member at Augusta Lawn Care, there are many opportunities to make more money. If you make a basket, you get an extra $20. Performance-based pay or P for P? That's crushing it. That's P for P. Stems the numbers. But sometimes, if customers don't pay, you gotta take matters into your own hands. Whoops, very sorry. I'm gonna knock on your door. I'm gonna bother you until I get my payment. Let's check in with Marcus from Augusta Lawn Care of Redmond, Washington to see what happens when you're a customer and you don't pay him on time. I'm trying to be as nice as I possibly can, you guys, okay? This video might get my franchise license revoked. Both of our trucks going down at the same time. And somebody stole the catalytic converter from it. Oh, there you go. Pretty low on cash. It was our truck for today. U-Haul. Between both the trucks, $14,000. Gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta make it work. All right, our other truck's ready to go. Moment of truth. Looking good. No engine light, so that should do it. Thank you, God. Great Pacific Northwest. Beautiful. Not a lot of sleep last night. Got to bed 1, 1 1.30 a.m. Finishing emails, estimates, and things, which means I need to delegate more, but that's springtime, baby. Today we're doing some initial overgrown mows. This one is actually the best out of all of them. It's not too overgrown. Looking for some things in the lawn, so before my guy comes through and mows the rest of this, looking through it, no dog toys, no huge rocks that's gonna go on and shatter some of these windows. Setting my guy up for success is what it is. It's that time of year, time to grind. Initial mow done here. It's not gonna look perfect, but we did dig out and define the edges. It took us two hours, so for initial visits, we say $1.50 per minute per man. This visit being about two hours, that's cumulative, so we each took about an hour here. So between two people, it's $180. Nice quick cash, and uh, that's the nice about the initial mows, is uh, you don't have to budget them. You just have to uh, work around your schedule because you never know when it's gonna be a lot of debris. Olga, two five-star reviews today. Awesome, helps our business a lot, and you know what that means. They get a shoot for even more. Let me show you. There's the rules there. Five-star Google review, get $30, but if you make a basket, you get an extra $20. You get three attempts. Basically that line. It's about eight feet to make the ball in the hoop, which fell down because that hook up there. So I'll hold it for now. Uh, what's your bundle? Look at that tree. Just levitating. We have levitating trees over here in Washington. I don't know if you knew that, but. Little overgrown mow back here. This one about the size of my knee. Just down the street from me here, right behind me here. She hasn't paid me. She was one of the first clients I ever serviced too. Uh, about a $750 service. Everything was good to go at the very end. We did a final walkthrough. I thought everything uh, was looking good. Um, she said it was looking good. They even gave me a five-star review, but um, apparently they thought that would be a good substitute for payment instead of paying me the $750. So um, between then and now, it's been about a month and a week, We've sent her about 15 emails, all of which she has opened on our software. It'll be able to tell us if she opened it or not, and she did. We called her five times in the last week and a half. I called her today, and she actually answered. 
She just kind of listened, she didn't say anything. I don't know if she meant to answer or what, but I'm gonna figure out what's going on. I'm in the neighborhood, so it's 7 p.m. and um, perhaps you're eating dinner. Whoops, very sorry. I'm gonna knock on your door. Uh, I'm gonna bother you until I get my payment. Uh, and if not, I'll try a couple times here more. Uh, and if I don't get the payment, then I'm sorry, I'll have to send you to collections, which will destroy your credit and we're gonna get the payment anyway. So is what it is. But yeah, they, they literally gave me a five-star review. They said the service was great. Love to get paid. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I'd love to be serving more clients, but some clients you kind of got to come back to make sure you know, you're actually getting paid for it. God forbid, right? So let me do that now and I'll let you know how it goes. Stand by. No answer, who would have guessed? All right, leaving them a little bit note. There you are. Hopefully, it should be pretty obvious for them to see it. There's your note. I'm trying to be as nice as I possibly can, you guys, okay? I could have left 20 yards of mulch in their driveway so they couldn't get in the garage, but I decided to do this instead. So, at least they'll see it now. We'll see what happens, I'll keep you updated. Perfect. Let me share with you the beauty of P4P. This is what happens when things go right. We did a perfect eight hour day. We made $29.70, which is well over a day of 22. Let me run down the math for you here. So we did a big property cleanup today, branches, leaves, debris, a little bit of pruning and shaping, but mostly a big cleanup. That was 16 budgeted hours. We charged $90 per hour in labor revenue. So 16 times 90 equals 1440. 1440 times 0 0.33, 0 0.33 results resembles 33% of all labor revenue, which goes to the employees or the people doing the work. So 1440 times 0 0.33 equals $475.20. That divided by two, since there's two of us, equals $237.60 is what each of us made today. Divide that by eight, since we each worked eight clocked hours. That's equal to $29.70 is what we each made on P4P. P. That's crushing it, that's P4P. P. Doesn't always happen like that. What I told our employee is that that. that's not guaranteed if the client calls us back tomorrow that's gonna take away from our pay because we're inefficient we should have got it done right the first time we did a whole full walk through with them they said they were happy sometimes they take another look they say ah those two branches I want gone you missed this in the backyard I didn't notice this when we were walking through the first time so those things happen walkthroughs are to avoid that but sometimes you have to go back Them's the numbers. Check me on that, I may be wrong. If you're making about $30 per hour mowing, doing property cleanups, breaking out pine cones, I'd say that's pretty good, no matter where you are. Great, thank you so much. It's, yeah, it's yeah. a beast, but we're getting it it's down. Right? It's great, great. Thank you, yeah, just getting it all mowed down, the edging all finished in the front. Yeah, if you'd like, I can just knock on the door towards the end. We could walk through it and just make yeah. sure everything's okay. Yeah, it's to do. are you going to trim the, 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 the weed over there? Um, it would just include the lawn, but if you'd like, I could just knock it down. Yeah, just knock that down. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll get this mowed down. That way okay. she can play more soccer back here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank yeah, so yeah. yeah good talking to you. It's awesome. Great work. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Hey, yeah. if you don't mind, you know, if towards the end of the service it's looking good to you, we yeah. rely heavily on Google reviews. If you could just give us a five-star review. Sure, sure, sure. We would love that. Thank you, sir. I'll knock those time. down, I'll mow this down, and then I'll connect with you as far as that goes. Okay, and there's a few bush here if you can move with. Just knock that down too? Okay, we'll Thank do, you so sir. Much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Things are changing, lots of ups and downs. A week ago, I was very, very stressed, super low on cash. I got about $6,000 that just came in. That was from two big projects that we just completed recently. Uh, and another $750 about, maybe a little bit more than that from that client. You remember that client I left 
a note on that cone outside of their garage, kind of blocking their driveway. They paid, so didn't have to send them to collections. Collections takes about, I think, 20% off the top or whatever they collect from us which is basically our profit margin so you're basically breaking even if you do send someone to collections so try to do everything um, before it gets to that case which in this instance it worked <laughs> they paid up let's keep at it crushing it sometimes you're wrong on estimates you gotta take it on the chin so i could only video the good times in the business but that would be, that would be false. That's a lot of what happens on media and it really doesn't help. There's a, so many landscapers out there on YouTube that only video about the good times, even if their business is in shambles. Right now, I wouldn't say I'm in shambles, but today was definitely a bad day. Rough, rough day. Started out, Explain my first employee, Cole, going on the whiteboard, showing him P for P, kind of the whole breakdown on how it works in the pay period. So we started a little bit late. I would say that time's necessary because it's good for him to know. You know, it's it's not wasting time if you're taking time to explain P for P in the pay structure or other business concepts to him. It's more than right for an employee to know how much they're going to get paid and kind of what that looks like, especially on P for P, because if we're all pulling in the same direction, that's great. Um, and for him to know how the whole game works, like Tommy Mello says, they, they need to know the rules of the game. You tell people how to win the game. You tell them exactly how they're gonna get paid. You tell them how to have a sick day, how your PTO works. You explain when a truck breaks down. You're giving them the rules of the game and how to win. So we got a little late start to the day and I'm an idiot and I forgot these bins. So we put debris in bins back here. So I forgot them, we were about halfway to the project, filling up on gas. So about $125 for gas to fill up my truck and these two tanks, a little two cycle in the other one. Spend another hundred on getting four more bins, so 25 each. So basically down $250. Worked about an eight hour day, he makes $22 per hour base. It doesn't look good anyway, you spin it. So today, definitely probably lost money net if not only made a little bit because we got on the project today and we went way over budget it was due pure to estimator error it had nothing to do with anything extra that we uncovered during the project just ended up being a lot more debris than i thought so like i said you take it on the chin i told him i told the employee i said hey this is my error as an estimator i take full ownership of it and sometimes these things happen uh, we still have a full pay period, so the pay period just started basically today. So we still have a full pay period to make this P for P back, and he understands, you know. Uh, sometimes when you're angry, you're mad, you're frustrated, I had to move other jobs off that were on today. So, you know, you're letting down clients, you're, you're over budget on these projects, and you still need to get them done, and it's a longer day. Today was 95 degrees out, no no shade on the property at all so uh you're just baking in the heat all day going way over on a project so i was frustrated i was mad um and basically you know when everybody's pulling in the same direction on p for p performance based pay sometimes there, there's estimator error and no matter how hard they work even if it's in 95 degree heat and they're crushing it sometimes you're still over on budgeted hours and that sucks if you're on p for p so like I said, I took it on the chin, took extreme ownership of it. I talked to him about how that happens. They're estimates, not exact exactimates. But yes, I was wrong on this one. He understands. So that's just transparency. Sometimes when you're mad, you're in denial. I could have said, well, if we were more efficient or this morning, you know, you could have remembered the bins as well, even though I forgot them. No, you take ownership. You're the leader. You take ownership of those things. Everything that happens is on you. The bad is on you. Try to project the good on them. Just worked a full nine hour day, plus two hours at the end for estimates. Now, I'm gonna take care of some emails, some miscellaneous things, and we'll stretch, we'll work out, and we'll do it again the next day. More pain, more suffering, more growth tomorrow. Good night, y'all. All right, 
Bleeding's not gonna stop. You were beware. I'm a little unsure if my index finger's still on or not, so we're gonna go to the ER right now. 